And now for your COVID-19 updates for today, August 27, 2020. The coronavirus cases worldwide stands at 24,366,230, with 830, that should be 830, 388 deaths. The recorded cases stands at 16,897,080. In Guyana, 11 recoveries and 33 new COVID-19 cases as a total COVID-19 cases climbs to 1,095. While there have been 11 COVID-19 recoveries over the past 24 hours, there has also been 33 new confirmed cases within the same period, which brings the total number of confirmed cases to 1,095. Regions 1, 3, 4, and 10 have recorded increases of 35, 11, and 3 respectively. Region 5, 6, and 7 have all recorded one additional case. The number of persons in the institutional quarantine now stands at 78, while 8 persons remain in the intensive care unit. The number of confirmed COVID-19 related deaths remains at 31. We tell you that a doctor and nurse on the Essequibo coast are amongst the recently confirmed COVID-19 cases within the Pomeroon Supernam region. This information was confirmed earlier yesterday by health officials. Reports are that the doctor is attached to the Oscar Joseph District Hospital charity. Kite Radio understands that a number of staffers attached to the hospital were recently placed in isolation. They were placed in isolation since it was suspected that they were in contact with the infected patient. To date, the total number of confirmed cases within the Pomeroon Supernam region remains at 12. President Irfan Ali on Wednesday had a virtual emergency multi-stakeholder meeting to discuss urgent issues related to the strengthening and advancing the national COVID-19 response. The meeting was held at State House. The meeting discussed the need to ensure that there is a balance between the health of the economy and the health and well-being of the citizens. It also examined how to enhance the capacity of the retrofit infectious disease hospital at Liliandau to function as an isolation facility as well as the reopening of the Chedi Jagan International Airport for commercial travel. President Ali noted that while such a step is integral to stabilizing and re-energizing of the economy, a decision will not be taken without considering the safest and most practical model moving forward. Vice President Dr. Barrett Jagdia, who also attended the meeting, emphasized the importance of a comprehensive analysis of the situation to the creation of sung policies to guide the national COVID-19 response. Meanwhile, Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony outlined Guyana's current status regarding testing and positive cases. The minister also reiterated the importance of finding the right balance moving forward. Additionally, PAHO WHO representative Dr. William Adokro noted the key role of effective monitoring system in dealing with the pandemic, even as he emphasized the importance of testing, enforcement, and education. And internationally, coming from the CNN, Mexico's health ministry has reported 3,541 new coronavirus cases on Monday, bringing the total number in the country to 563,705. The ministry also reported 320 new fatalities, taking the total number of coronavirus-related deaths in the country to 6,800. And finally, on the international scene for your COVID update, according to CNN, Colombia's total number of coronavirus cases reached 551,696 on Monday after registering 10,545 new cases, according to the country's health ministry. There were also 296 new deaths recorded in the last 24 hours, raising the national death toll to 17,612, the ministry reported. Colombia is the fourth country in Latin America with the highest COVID-19 cases, following Brazil, Peru, and Mexico. And that is your COVID-19 update for today, brought to you by Kaitra Radio. Up next, it will be the National Outlook with Mr. GHK Lau. <laughs> 